Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Wilson Huang. I'm the founder of the XY Finance. It's my pleasure to give a speech of the token 2049. And today I want to discuss about the how to scale up your business in a multi-chain environment. And before we approach the topic, I want to let's take a look at the rise of the cryptocurrency first. Imagine we're back to the 2009 when the Bitcoin started to be able to use, which is uh, the world's first cryptocurrency which enabling decentralized peer-to-peer -peer transaction. Yeah, it's the first time we can transfer money. Uh, we may, maybe we can transfer 1 billion money, 1 billion from Africa to Europe with 10 minutes. So later from the 2011, other cryptocurrency came along. So people, for example, like the Litecoin and Ripple, people start aware of the cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. And in 2015, we also witnessed the initial launch of the Ethereum. You can write a code in, the, in, in money, you can write code in the money. So the scalability and accessibility of the Ethereum has led to the expansion of the DeFi protocols. So, yeah, and also the appearance of the EVM compatible chain that allow the developer very quick, very, it can write a code very quickly, such as the Polygon BNB Smart Chain, Avalanche, Phantom, Coronos, our, just to name a few. So, in the summer of the 2020, you, you can see more than 200 DeFi protocols were active. They provide the opportunities to do the liquidity mining, EO farming, staking, trading, and also the high return APY. But there are too many transactions took place on the Ethereum. They make Ethereum got slower and the gas fee is too high. So according to the DeFi Llama, you can see the TVO, they were the 94% of the TVO on the Ethereum. But for now, August 2022, they were only 58% on Ethereum because they moved out from the Ethereum to another rising chain, like Avalanche, Solana, Near, and Cosmos, something like that. So different ecosystem on the different chain. This is why I believe this is a multi-chain era. A lot, all of the project must equip with the multi-chain context to remain the competence and sustainable. But if you want to scale up your business wider and faster, yeah, you need a cross-chain cross -chain capability. But you must face two significant factors. That's the interoperability and the efficiency. A lot of projects find it difficult to scale out their operation because they fail to provide the interoperability. With the boom in the wide variety blockchain and networks, yeah, the infrastructure to bridge each chain and to integrate each D app has become more critical than ever. And the second issue is how to provide the best route from the perspective of the speed and price. Yeah, things could get a lot more complex if the quantity of transaction exceeds the limitation of DEX6 and bridges aggregates on your protocol due to the insufficient liquidity. Uh, liquidity. So, so, to overcome these challenges, you must need an all good cross chain solution. And there are three ways to bridge the cross, to fit the token across. Let me introduce you. And the first one, the, so, the first one mechanism is lock and mint. Yeah, let's take the rapid as example. If you want to use your BDC, on the Ethereum and any other EVM compatible chain, you want to collateral your BDC in the lending protocol. The BDC is original on the BTC blockchain, but there's no DeFi on the BDC. So you need to cross chain your BDC to the Ethereum. So how how, how that work? You send your BDC to a specific address and the Red BDC team can issue the same amount on the Ethereum for you. So you can use the WBDC to integrate with the DeFi. That's the lock and mint. And you, you want to refund, you want to reback 
you burn the red BTC and you get the BTC on, on the blockchain, BTC blockchain, right? That's the first one. It's very easy to understand. There's another if way to do a cross chain. And also the second way is burn and mint. If the token issuer has the full control and minting access and burn access of this token, they can use the burn and mint. For example, Tether, if you want to transfer your Ethereum USDT to the BNB USDT, they can burn the ETH USDT for you and mint the same amount on the BNB. That's the burn and mint. If the token project has a full access, they can do that. It's also simple. It's very simple. And the third way is the more modern way. Imagine you have a pool. I have the same asset, but different blockchain version. Imagine you have a pool, it will have a 1 million USDT on ETH and 1 million USDT on a BNB, 1 million USDT on Polygon, on our launch. When you want to swap from Ethereum to Polygon, they can just deposit maybe 5K, 5K USDT in the pool, and the pool can withdraw out the 5K USDT on a BNB. Let's complete the cross-chain swap. This is the third way to do the cross-chain. So all three mechanisms, people uh, XYO supported. Oh, sorry, I, for I forgot to take the next page. Okay, that's the atomic swap, the third way, the, the cross-chain bridge. And also, you can imagine that to develop or to maintain kind of these three bridging act mechanism will take a lot of effort and times. But the security and liquidity can never be sacrificed. So you may want to know, want to know is there an easy way to, to do that? Absolutely, you can still get a new user without modification of your product and you can provide the cross-chain features. That's why I'm here. I introduced the XY Finance, the full cross-chain aggregator in elbowing small routing. And XY Finance was launched in the 2021. We have raised 12 million last year from the top VC and protocols like Animal Car Circle, Mechanism, YGG, and YGGC. So we have supported, we integrated 14 chains, uh, uh, the Ethereum, Phantom, Kronos, Avalanche, Astar, Arbitrum, Optimism, Lelix, and we supported 140 plus DAX6. We integrate all the NNM to do the best route. And we supported 120 plus, 1,000 plus tokens. And we covered the 98% of TVL of Ethereum, EVM, EVM chain. Also, with our small routing, your user can get the best deal for the cross-chain transfer via our product, XSwap and it only takes two seconds. It's a lot more faster than other comp competitors. Other competitors, when you get the quotes, you need to wait for more than six seconds. But in here, to only two seconds, you can get the best deal. And also, in addition, our full cross-chain aggregator not only allows users to trade at cross-chain swap, we also provide a single chain with the best route within 14 chains, just like one inch and the pair swap and open ocean because we integrate that. Also, we have the modern cross-chain liquidity mechanism we call in white pool. That's the third way atomic swap. So we have a white pool, we can put a different blockchain, USDT, USDC, ETH to do our cross-chain swap. And we also have the liquidity rebalance mechanism to make our cross-chain liquidity more reliable than others. So you don't, you never be counter, encounter the insufficient liquidity issue in our product. And also we have packed the Epic solution into a toolkit where it's very easily available. So we have the APIs, SDK, and also the front end widget. You don't need to call any, you can put our widget to your front end products. This will make a lot more simpler for the developer to integrate our service to their D apps very quickly. Also, we are focused on helping and looking for the partnership of these four kinds of projects, DeFi, GameFi, Wallet, Payment, and also the Game Guild. Yeah, we have support then to grow their business. And also one of our cases is 
the R star. After we integrate the R star, we become the largest DEX and bridge on R star. And our users has grown over than 770%. And during the seven days volume, we grow 300% the trading volume. And almost the 20% of the cross-chain transaction is happens on R star. Also, we can customize our DEX for the game guilds to provide a seamlessly trading experience for the guilds. Guilds earn their game token, they want to cash out, or they want to their, allow their gamers to buy their game token in one click. So we can customize these decks and provide to the game guild. If your game token is launched on the BNB with our SDK, we can access, help them access 14 chance gamers. Maybe they have an asset on the Avalanche, maybe they have an asset on the Arbitron. They can one click to buy their game token. It's very fast, very convenient. Okay, let's recap our uh, product and our features, XY Finance. We integrated 14 chains and 140 plus DX6. And our routing algorithm, we have our own routing algorithm. We also integrate the one inch Periswap and OpenOcean. We could integrate other routing aggregator so we can provide the best route in two seconds. Also, we support 120,000 tokens right now and covering 98% of EVM TVL. So pretty much all of the EVM ecosystem we already covered. And also, we are not only the cross-chain swap decks. We also support a single, single, single swap. So basically, you can take see me as a universal DEX. And also we have an in-house bridge liquidity pool, and we focus on helping the DeFi, GameFi wallet, and payments company. And we have ready to go APIs. They're very important to scale out your business. WeJet, API SDK. And also we have the token bridging. That's the first, first cross-chain way. Burn and mean and lock and mean also provided this feature. And also, we support sidechain integration. And welcome the game, game blockchain to work with. Also, the one last very important thing, plug in to win users everywhere. That's how, that's how we help their business scale up. Also, OK, so if you're interested in our service, our products, our booth is over there. We are in booth P62, just over there. So work, uh, yeah, three seconds, you can get our ball. So we are XY Finance, plugging to win more users in the multi-chain environment. Thank you.